The roots of a typo conference goes back 20 years ago uh, and is based on a typographical publication called Fuse. Fuse was founded by Neville Brody and John Wosencraft and was accompanied by a conference. Uh, the first conference was in London, the second in Berlin, and then it went over to San Francisco. But we want some, something yearly in Berlin and therefore we founded the Typo Conference. It's not so easy to explain what a Typo Berlin is. Just some facts. It's 16 now. It's a three days international event. It's 60 speakers. It's three stages full of inspiring lectures. And it's more than 1,400 visitors each year. But Typo Berlin is much more, as you can see. What I like most with Typo is that it's not only concentrating on typography but on graphic design and visual communication. We want a public that is open-minded and we want to invite them to spread their horizon and that's the reason why we are doing the Typo conference as it is. It's an, it's an interdisciplinary uh, international design conference.
Taipo, I think is well, it's one of the most important conferences for what we do in uh, in Europe, at least, uh, that I know maybe in the world, I'm not sure. But uh, I like the fact it pulls different people together. Uh, I like the structure of it, that it really allows a lot of different subjects to be tackled. Um, and, uh, and we want to take that to London. I think it, London is really missing that kind of a conference.